Roblox just released several really bad updates, huge Roblox drama, and more crazy news today. So if you're new here, please subscribe. Help us reach 400,000 subs and let's get into it. And firstly, let's start with all the bad updates that Roblox released recently. And there's like three of them, so stay tuned. So firstly, this update finally released where people can now sell plugins for real money. And actually, if you want to sell a plugin, it has to be for real money now. And I did talk about this a few days ago, but for some reason, they delayed the update again. And I think now it's finally out. It's kind of weird how that worked, but this update is now officially out. And as we can see here, this is how it's going to work. If you buy a plugin, you know, you're going to have a transactions tab now, thing, outgoing payments, stuff like that to developers, which is pretty crazy and pretty interesting. And as I mentioned before, it's a very controversial rules update for a number of reasons, you know, but mainly the fact that it's not optional. You know, people have to sell plugins for money now. They can't sell it for Robux anymore. Some people can't afford to spend money like this. It's overall more expensive because I think the minimum is $5. And it's opened up so much more problems, but there's something else to this update that's actually very interesting. Rolls made a dev farm post as per usual, and in this dev farm post, they drop another pretty big update and plan for the future, where RDC user tweeted out saying that Rolls states that users can still distribute and acquire free assets. So yeah, I know a lot of people are confused, but free plugins are still available, but paid ones have to be real money now. And obviously, all the best ones are paid. But here's the big part right here, they said. Additionally, Rolls plans to enable users to sell models soon. So yeah, it's actually pretty insane. Not only is Roblox going to make it so plugins are going to be sold for real money now, but it seems like next they're trying to make models now cost for real money, which is actually pretty insane. And in general right now, we're seeing a pretty big shift on Roblox where they're phasing out of developer stuff to be for Robux, but instead cost real money, which is pretty bad. Because like I mentioned, a lot of times the best stuff costs Robux and it's fairly cheap in terms of Robux wise, but due to the limits and stuff like that, it ends up being more expensive with everything. And the fact that it's not optional, it's just really bad because a lot of people can't just spend real money like that on the platform. Also with that being said, to be fair, the free models on the platform aren't that bad. And I assume that even with this update, when it eventually releases, there still will be a bunch of free ones out there. But in general, with that being said, the fact that we're seeing this shift on Roblox where they're trying to make everything cost like real money slowly is kind of crazy to see. I wonder if they're going to do this to more stuff in the future. And with that all being said though, there's a big issue going on where a lot of people thought that due to you know countries and stuff like that you couldn't actually buy plugins and now that the update released is information kind of cleared up and basically if you live in any country you can still buy any you know plugin or anything for real money however due to country restrictions people can't sell them which once again is pretty bad like it's one good thing but another bad thing because brazil here for example can't sell plugins and stuff like that and they're literally one of the most top countries with developers so that's pretty bad and with that we have another bad update and an update that we actually knew about for a while but this might become really bad rdc news here tweeted out saying that it seems that non UTC creators can now publish already uploaded items to a group public usually could be around the corner so yeah a few days ago out of nowhere roblox kind of released public ugc where it wasn't just for every user but through a group you can actually publish ugc limiteds and as we can see in this video this person is all part of the ugc program and through their group they were able to upload a bunch of items and stuff like that and ugc limiteds and they're on the ugc program or anything like that and a lot of people are saying like this means ugc you know public ugc is around the corner which obviously Public UC is going to be a giant mess, and it's going to cause a lot of havoc in the community. Now with that being said though, to be fair, recently Rolls has rolled out a bunch of like fees and stuff like that to try to prevent people, but let's be real. No matter what happens, whenever Public UC does eventually release, it's going to be a complete mess. With that being said though, I'm pretty sure this group thing was actually patched. Like they released it for a little bit and I think they got rid of it, which is very interesting and very weird. But in general with that being said, it seems like they're testing Public UC. And public UTC seems to be around the corner, which I already know is probably going to be really bad. And with that being said, next we have another pretty bad update, where Vlogs is here to us saying that Rose has partnered with Pubmatic, a digital marketing advertising company, to help ramp up sales of immersive images and video ads, which are expected to launch public later this year. So yeah, this is actually pretty crazy. All those ads you see around the game now are not going to just be pictures, but they're going to actually make them videos and stuff like that. And it seems like they might just be like general video ads, not even like Roblox related. Which is pretty crazy and I feel like this feels so like dystopian. Imagine you're walking around in jailbreak and you see an ad for like Walmart and it's like a video and everything. That just feels so weird. And I wonder how this will affect like the Roblox ads in general too. Like will this be harder for creators to promote their stuff? It seems pretty crazy and very dystopian in my opinion. And if you read the comments a lot of people are just saying like are you serious? Like this seems so bad. And in general going forward there are some pretty bad changes. And we're seeing a pretty big shift on Roblox right now. You know. They're changing stuff to cost real money. They're, you know, including more advertiser stuff with videos. They're moving to public UGC soon. So pretty massive changes coming soon. And that are all kind of concerning. Let me know what you guys think about all these though. Because a lot of them are very controversial updates. And with that being said, our next story of a really weird Rolls feature actually that doesn't seem to work. So recently, as I mentioned in my other videos, Rolls completely revamped the home screen. They changed a lot about it. They changed like a sort of it. They changed 
like new categories and stuff like that. And with that being said, for some reason, the recommended for you section has been completely broken. I've seen so much posts about this recently where for some reason, the recommended for you page is just recommending off brands of games people already play. It's really weird what's going on. So as you can see here, this person plays like Pet Simulator or whatever, and their entire recommended for you is just rip off us Pet Simulator games. And Preston even replied just saying yeah with a sad face. Which obviously I know a lot of people hate Preston, but think about this more in general for developers. Like you try so hard to make your game unique and stuff like that and people steal it. But then not only do people steal it, Rose is promoting their games, which is even worse because they're getting more traction, which is pretty bad. And such as this game, Acro here, who's a popular Please Donate YouTuber, tweeted out saying that once again, since he plays a lot of Please Donate in his recommended for you section, he's getting a lot of Please Donate clones, which is really bad. And this is really weird. I don't know how this works. I guess like Roblox's system and how they determine recommended games is just completely broken and they don't recognize what's a clone or what's not. And right now, a lot of developers are pretty angry at Roblox and just sad because all these games that literally steal some assets and stuff like that are getting recommended like Roblox or getting recommended by Roblox and probably getting them a bunch of money, which is pretty awful. And also with that being said, stuff like this is happening where we're also, also promoting some of the most money hungry scam games you know on the platform so in general with that being said i don't know what's going on but Rolls is fully broken right now with this section and a lot of developers are angry at roblox because they're recommending them clone and stolen version of their game and giving them a bunch of traction which is pretty horrible hopefully Rolls fixes it soon but it's a pretty big issue going on right now and with that being said it's going to be the last story of some huge roblox drama probably some of the biggest roblox drama we've seen in a while and now honestly it's actually pretty insane it also was pet summer 99 and don't worry if you don't understand Pet Simulator 99, you can still understand the situation. Okay, so basically what happened was that there's a big exploit going around in Pet Simulator. You know, as per usual, that happens in Roblox. But for some reason this time, Pet Simulator didn't know how to fix the issue. So instead of like, you know, trying to fix the issue, paying people to help fix the issue, they actually ended up paying the people who exploited in like rare pets and I think like a one of one pet. So they ended up giving these people the rarest pets in the entire game and pets that cost like so much money for free because he exploited just for the information. And everyone started getting angry at them because they're like, I spent so much hours, I spent thousands of dollars trying to get these pets and you gave them away for free. Not only being slapped in the face of people who spent all this money and time getting the pets, but also ruining the economy of the game because these pets are not going to go down in value probably. And in general, there's caused so much drama in the community and everyone is angry at Pet Simulator. Even Pet Simulator YouTubers and creators in like their career program spoke out about it just saying this is a stupid move from them. And it gets worse because apparently Pet Simulator is trying to do this behind the scenes so no one found out. Like that makes you think, what else do they do behind the scenes that we don't? know about potentially like that's a really bad look for them and somehow the situation gets even worse because a lot of people who spoke out about the issue and stuff like that and were like criticizing pet simulator actually got banned from the game like cassie for example just tweeted out saying that they're angry at pet simulator and they got banned from the game and apparently their friends got banned from the game as well this drama is actually so insane and such a horrible situation on every level and Pet Simulator kind of got exposed here and Emma's angry at them. Now with that being said, if you want a more in-depth review, I made a video on my Chisel Plus channel, I'll link it in the pinned comment, but there is actually a funny ending to the situation. Last night when everyone was arguing and stuff like that, people literally started burning their Pet Simulator plushies out of hate for the game, which is actually just crazy. The Roblox drama got so bad and went so far where people, you know, their own supporters who bought these plushies are turning on them and burning the plushies, which is just crazy. Like, this is the most crazy Rose drama I've seen in a while. Now, to be fair, I mean, the plushie burning isn't doing anything. You literally gave them money for the plushie, I doubt they care, but it was just a funny ending to the situation. And this drama goes so much deeper, like I said, so watch that Chisel Plus video, I'll put it in the pinned comment. Subscribe to that channel, by the way, I upload so much bonus news. And in general, today just felt kind of like a bad day for Roblox. A lot of drama, a lot of bad updates and controversial updates. But I mean, it is Roblox, so that does happen pretty often, let's be real. And with that being said, though, for some good news, check out this video right here, where Rolls finally did something good. Let's see the next one.